Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're having another look at progress on my attempt to build a passable model of Dolgok by completely destroying one of Batman's um, Thomas and Friends Reneus models. Uh, if you remember from last time I'd got the kind of green base coat onto um, most of the parts, at least three of the parts, I'd forgotten the cylinders. Um, I've now painted the cylinders um, <clears throat> and I've started to do some initial weathering detailing um, on this model. I initially said that I was going to uh, assemble it before I did any of the, the weathering but I've decided that actually I think what I did last time was an initial pass on the weathering where I could get in to all the parts individually uh, when I did the uh, tallied in model where I could get into all the kind of the different bits of the, of the model separately uh, and then when it was assembled I did another round uh, another light round of weathering um, to kind of tie all the pieces together. So I've gone for a similar approach this time so that hopefully uh, the models will match. So um, yeah, so you I mean you can see kind of where we're at. Um, the cylinders have now been painted um, and they've had a, a weathering pass. It's uh, always a bit difficult to tell exactly. The cylinders being round, they don't weather quite so well. There's not much in the way of getting um, into the details. They just kind of turns down the colour. But if we have a look at the cab, for instance, then you can see that that's definitely uh, getting mucky. Um, so I've picked out the window surrounds in a in a in a kind of brass coppery colour, um, and then I've gone to town again with uh, essentially um, you take the primer, this surface primer. Um, it's quite it's quite runny. You can kind of hear if I shake it, um, <clears throat> and you literally just paint masses of it kind of all over the model. Um, and then rather haphazardly and then you just use a, a brush and just literally wash it off with with cleanish water um, obviously by the time you finish the water is no longer clean um, but essentially it causes the black paint to kind of stick in all the little crevices and holes and against all the details um, and also turns down the the color at the same time um, i had the same problem i had when i did tally lane in that um, some of it comes through the windows, um, not much you can do about it really, over the, the ivory paint. But actually that's not bad because it just makes it look muddy, muck, more mucky inside. Um, and in fact I'll probably go in and turn this down either with a, a small amount of uh, black paint or um, with some dark, with some kind of weathering powders, probably smoke weathering powder uh, at some point because it's still looking a little uh, a little bright. The Tallyling one got kind of muckier so it didn't look quite so, quite so bad. I don't want it too dark because the top half of the cabs are always um, kind of a much brighter colour than you would expect. Uh, I mean, they're not white, uh, but they're a much brighter colour than you would expect um, for something as dirty as a steam engine. So yeah, so the cabs looking looking quite good. Um, body casting is is similar again. You can see how we've picked out all the it's picked out all the details and got muck everywhere. Um, turned down the colour. Um, some streaking, weathering streaking. I've also picked out on the black, I did an initial round of um, dry brushing in grey. Uh, again, so this picks up the rivet detail and things and, and kind of breaks up that um, kind of solid black uh, look that you sometimes get. I still need to do this this band around the chimney. Uh, is copper, brass, copper I guess. Uh, I still need to pick that out. Uh, but it's starting to look, uh, starting to look mucky. Um, I've also done the same, so I, I picked out the splash, I bothered the splashes in the same way uh, with the black paint and then washing it off. But you'll see I've also um, I've also picked out the lubricators with the um, brass. So I actually use this for the brass, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Um, so this is a polished brass lacquer. Now it's designed, as far as I'm aware, for um, airbrushing. And the, the idea from what I remember is you airbrush it on and then you can literally kind of polish it up. Um, I've seen the chrome version of this used to make kind of um, military aircraft wings look exceptionally bright and shiny um, and other things. But what I do is I just shake it. It's got a little ball bearing in to mix it up. Shake it and then I pick tiny little bits on a brush off the off the inside of the lid when it's been um, when it's been mixed, and essentially just kind of dry brush and, and and gently kind of put it on over a black, and it gives this really nice kind of aged, dirty, mucky uh, brass effect. So it works really well on the lubricators, and obviously, as I say, you've seen it also on the surrounds for the uh, the windows, where it, again it looks 
it looks really good. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably do the same for a lot of the pipe work. Again, the pipe work on the real thing is is brass, or well, copper, I guess, copper pipe. Um, and the parts I have, if I had any idea where I've put them, I uh, can't see them at the moment, so otherwise I would show you, but there is the, the, the box of parts has, uh, is it in here? It is in here. Um, here we go. So um, all the brass, the, the all the detailing pipe work and stuff is is brass. So in theory, I could leave it as it is, but I think it's actually too bright and shiny. So I think what I'm going to have to do is kind of paint it black and then paint it copper again, uh, brass again. I don't think I can necessarily just kind of weather it off and make it look right, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but I want it all to kind of be coherent across the model. So I think if I've done that for the lubricators, I'll have to do it for, uh, and painted the lubricators, I'll have to do it for everything else but we'll, we'll see when I um, when I come to add the details that'll be one of the things I do next um, once I've assembled the body I'll add add all the pipe work and stuff and then I can weather weather around it so everything comes together um, I've also as you can probably tell dry brushed um, the chassis um, in places um, if I get it to focus it helps just pick out the detail on you know corners and bolt work and stuff um, <clears throat> and then I've also kind of done the only bit of cab detailing I'm really intending to do. So the door handle and the regulator have had a little bit of um, kind of metal um, kind of highlighting on the end where it looks like it'll be worn, worn kind of worn steel where um, they've, you know, it's polished by hand essentially use. Um, the side glass has had a bit of um, kind of ivory paint. Again, I've washed that down with some black to make it less, uh, quite not quite so bright. Uh, and then the one tiny little detail, I don't know if you remember me making this, I can't remember where I've spoken about it much before, but um, the picture I was using to look at detailing the the inside of the cab um, had a, an oil can sat on the shelf above the firebox door, um, so I made one up. So this is a tiny, tiny little bit of circular styrene uh, and then some wire for the handle and the spout. Uh, and then it's just been painted. Uh, I painted it black. I tried to just kind of pick it out with um some rail match um oily steel uh but that didn't actually work so well so it, it couldn't get it i couldn't get it shiny enough so i've kind of touched in with a little bit of this which is chrome silver tamiya uh chrome silver um i didn't use too much and over the the black and then the chrome there's the oily steel um it's it's gone so that it's nice and kind of shiny but not too shiny because the point is that what i want to be able to do is when you look through the cab doorway i kind of want you to be able to if you look at it like that i kind of want you to be able to see it so it needs to be standing out a little bit more than the the black at the back um i might kind of turn down the sight glass a bit um so that's less obvious and they they um they all kind of a bit more visible but we'll see um it's not the biggest detail in the world it's just nice for again it's one of those nice for me to know it's there um, so again, yeah, this is coming along quite nicely now. Um, shouldn't take too long to finish, really. Uh, I need to assemble it. If you remember, I was a bit worried that the um, cab was on a bit of an angle, so I need to get that <coughs> all fitted. It's it's due to the fact of you get paint on things like the holes in the foot plate, so the pins on the bottom of here don't fit properly. Um, you get whole paint in the holes here in these slots, so again, the cab doesn't fit on properly. So all that needs kind of... Um, just kind of checking and filing and, and, and stuff to make it all fit but I'll get it all assembled all the pipe work done um, and then um, there'll be that final round of kind of weathering uh, to tie everything together so it may be I do another another video um, to show some more progress or it may just be that I end up with a final kind of I finished building um, video uh, one of the kind of you know if you been with the channel a while you'll know that when I finish the model um, I do a kind of final summary video uh, where I go back kind of and discuss all the way from the beginning to the end and what I've learned and anything interesting uh, along the way so people who are just interested in here this is how I built it can watch that kind of summary video um, whereas you've obviously been watching as we go along if you're watching this uh, apologies by the way about the light um, it's a bright wintry summer wintry day and um, it's causing havoc with it coming in through the window behind me so apologies for for that if there's any issues with the with the light i shouldn't be complaining too much it's actually a nice day even though it's uh, cold outside um so yes anyway back to the modeling um so that's it for for today as i say um it's going to be a busy week 
for me next week work meetings and, and, and other family stuff so i'm not quite sure when i'll get back to this but hopefully uh not too not too long and this one will be uh finished and if you want to make sure you don't miss that that video when, when i've finished it uh remember the subscribe button should be down here somewhere thanks for watching bye